Hi and welcome to Lifestyle Management and the assignment that you're going to do. It's a goal setting uh, assignment. So let's have a look at kind of what we're going to do here. So one of the first things you're going to do is you need to set a goal. Okay, but we've got to do this sort of there's a front end load on this for us and then there's a bit at the end and then every week there's a little bit for you to do now you're going to be setting a goal and it needs to be focused on either chapter four chapter five or chapter six so that's either physical activity nutrition or managing weight now i've given you some examples of what you could do it on um, but for the most part you need to choose a goal you need to complete the wellness assessment that's at the end of chapter one so you complete that wellness assessment there's a um, wellness wheel it's on page four of this particular document we'll go by it shortly and you fill the data that you get from the um, survey that you do in your textbook the self-assessment and apply it to the wellness wheel and then that may inform you of uh, an area that you could spend some time working on. Now, if by chance you already have a goal that you'd like to do, still do the assessment because it's a part of the assignment. Um, you could still choose that, uh, that goal that you want, and then you need to sort of start to organize your thoughts. If you're doing something in chapter four on physical fitness, then go through some of the material there to see what it is you want to be able to utilize. Apply it, and then you need to be ready to start your uh, goal by the fourth week because we need to gather eight weeks of data so that you can um, bring that together to see how well or how much momentum you've started to build towards a goal please I can only emphasize this as much as possible and that is do not expect to achieve your goal in eight weeks Really, this is a very short period of time for any of the things that we're going to be doing. In eight weeks, if you could lose two and a half, three pounds, four pounds, that would be outstanding. In physical activity, if you could get to walk more than you're doing now, that would be reasonable. But please, try not to think that you've got to accomplish something in eight weeks. This is really just a task about getting used to goal setting and building momentum. Okay let's move along so what needs to be handed in now we'll see if we can spread this through here very well you're going to be writing things in five sections so please mark them carefully in your document so i can follow along the first is the assessment so that's the self-assessment that you do at the end of chapter one and the wellness wheel that gets submitted in pdf and then you need to choose a health behavior to change and be in those three areas that i focused on and then three, you're going to use the goal model called SMART. It's on page 19 of your textbook, I think, um, but it's in chapter one. Please search it out and use SMART. SMART is in, as an acronym for specific, so your goal needs to be very clear and specific. It needs to be measurable. That means it needs to be seen and heard so that you can count it. It needs to be achievable. That just means it needs to be reasonable for your place where you're starting. Realistic, again, it's about, it's, it's, it's partnered with achievable. If it's achievable and it's realistic, that's best. And then it's trackable, that's the T. So by keeping data, you can do so. So the data collecting is the fourth point. Now what you must do is collect digital data. Now what I mean by that is I don't want any written data kept in a journal or anything because that can be created. This is an effort to try to gather real data. So the example I've given in the assignment is like a Garmin watch or Strava is a place to put in. Um, these are websites that you can put in your running or your weight material or things like what was the other one I gave Fitbit there are all kinds of apps on weight loss, weight management, nutrition, and physical activity for tracking. That kind of data is digital-based data that keeps track of things, and you can download it from the apps or from the websites. 
and then that's what you add uh, to your assignment. So digital data. And then at the end, summary, a brief statement of what you've learned about what's gone on. Now, I know, I'm aware that this assignment is similar to one in another class, so please be very careful. If you do have another class doing goal setting, do a different goal. We will be checking in with one another um, to see how we're doing. Now, the wellness wheel I mentioned, this is it here. So if you print this off, you can use this and color in these wedges based on the score 1 to 10 that you got on the self-assessment. And then here is the rubrics. So it, please attach the um, wellness wheel. You don't need to attach your self-assessment, but you do need to write um, a reaction to what you saw in the assessment. Maybe you were surprised. Maybe you weren't surprised. So this is a place to reflect on it. It's five marks. Give me a paragraph, a healthy paragraph. If you give me one or two lines, I can't pull five, 15, or 10 marks out of things. Okay? So when you talk about the next one, the healthy behavior to change, this is where you're building in and expressing to me the momentum that this is, in fact, the behavior to change and why that is. So don't be too brief. This is where you start to get some insight into your motivation and explain what it is that's going to get you started on this. Then I would like you to go through each of the SMART acronym, specific, measurable, and such, and go through each point and see how your goal manages to get to that material. Okay? And then the record keeping system is I want to see the data that you've collected over the eight weeks put in a digital form. Um, it can be put in, like a lot of times you can get them as screenshots from an app on your phone if you're tracking that way. There's a lot of different ways. Just put them in a Word document, stack them so I can see them. And then your summary is another 5%. There's 5% or 5 marks for just putting your headings in so I can keep track of what you're doing. And there's also 5 marks for the basic you know, spelling, grammar, and punctuation. It's 65 marks. Now, again, I can only emphasize, do not think that you're going to try to achieve the goal. You're really just trying to learn about goal setting and to build some momentum that maybe at the end of this eight weeks, you find the momentum has got you doing more in the spring and the summer. And maybe it takes you off and makes, you know, you helps you achieve some of the things that you've set yourself out to achieve. I hope this has been helpful. Please. Uh, take the time to read the assignment, go through this video, and watch the orientation video to make sure that you get all the information you need to access everything you need for the course. All right, everybody. Good luck on the assignment. Please don't forget to get started in week four and digital data. Bye.